Hey guys, are you in search of the perfect camping table? Well, if you're like me, you've probably run into Mountain Summit Gear large table. But then upon looking maybe on Amazon for it for a cheaper price, you probably ran across the Go Team version. Well, today we're gonna to consider what is the difference and is it worth the savings to go with Go Team over Mountain Summit Gear? Stay tuned. <music> Welcome to Backcountry Renegade. I'm Jeff. Today we're going to be considering two camp tables that are out there. The Mountain Summit Gear heavy duty roll top table in the large size and then the duplicate version of that or the replica from Go Team. Now if you're like me you probably went on REI looking for a good camp table. You didn't want something flimsy, you wanted something sturdy, but then again you didn't want the small typical square one. You wanted something a little bit longer, maybe something you can even sit next to with a couple of your family members. Well that is what drew me to the Mountain Summit Gear table. It is very lightweight, very durable, easy to pop up, and it has with an aluminum top base. The dimensions are 47 by 28, and it stands 28 inches tall as well. And so that would have been perfect for my needs. So I looked at the price, and on REI, it was about 100 bucks, 99.95. And so it was, a, it was a pretty penny to cough up, so I wasn't sure, so I started doing some more research. I went upon Amazon, and on Amazon, I stumbled across one that would look like a duplicate duplicate version of it. In fact, it was called the Go Team, and it had the exact same dimensions, exact same specs, also aluminum tabletop with steel frame. At a $30 difference, you would consider, is it worth the savings? Is it worth the cost? Well, I thought you would have similar questions, so I went ahead and purchased both of them and wanted to do a gear review and decided to keep one of these. I'll tell you which one, stick around at the end. So let's first consider the Mountain Summit Gear Table. The Mountain Summit Gear heavy duty roll top table in the large is an aluminum roll top table that provides a really large stable surface. It can hold um, about 70 pounds it says according to their specs. It weighs when it's all packaged in its nice little bag, it weighs about 15 pounds 3 ounces. So not too bad, pretty lightweight for what it's able to do. So to set it up make sure to take off the velcro and then spread it open. There will be tabs in the middle to where you can clip in to make it sturdy. Then you want to put the roll top over on top. In each four corners there are clips to clip in the table to make it nice and dependable and connected to the base. So as you can see, once it's locked up in place, you can lift up the whole thing real nicely and it's nice and sturdy. Mountain Summit Gear is located in Vancouver, Washington and made here in the U.S. It has nice room to where underneath you can sit at the table with a couple people as well and their legs can go under there just fine, unlike some other tables, camp tables on the market. Now I wouldn't sit on this, but if you want to put a little camp stove or some, some uh, plates and eat at the table, it would be a great table to do so. So let's look at how to take this apart. First you want to clip off the sides and then fold two panels at once. Rest it upon each other like the, so. And these just pop right off. To fold it back, you just pop this down on each one. And then what I like to do is just open it from the middle, grab each legs, put it across, and then you can tape it. And there you have it. 15 pounds, able to stow and walk. Say you're going to a soccer game, say you're just going camping. Perfect table size for me. On the other hand, you have the Go Team the Go Team table, and it looks like an exact duplicate. In fact, the specs are very much similar. The only difference is on the Go Team, they actually say it goes to 80 pounds. So whether there's a difference, I'm not really sure for that. Upon closer examination, the Go Team large table is very similar to the Mountain Summit gear. But when you look at it closely, you can see some qualities in the craftsmanship. So just to look, the legs are very, very similar. The steel frame is very similar. It opens and closes the same way. It sets up the same way. But the biggest difference I found, and the one that made me a little upset, was these clips here. These clips here, you can see, there's been a lot of rubbing there. Basically right here, 
the clip hits that metal. So where that leg is, the metal part uh, hits and prevents that clip from going in very easily. And so you can, that's basically like that on a lot of the, the legs. Now, some of them are better than others, like this one right over here. But if you look at it from the other side, you can see this one went in. We're over here having some trouble. Where the Mountain Summit gear is nice and flush. You can see when it's all in place, you can just lift up the Mountain Summit gear table real easily because they clip in real nice. But where these can't clip in, you cannot lift it up without it falling apart. So the biggest difference is that what you're gonna see. Also the packaging as it came. The GO team, the box was halfway open. It wasn't a lot of padding, but the Mountain Summit gear came a lot better packed. The box was a lot heftier, it was more durable, and it even had padding inside of it. So I was very happy with how that came. The, Mount, the GO Team 1 actually came scratched in various places, as you can see, as a result. Wasn't too happy getting something that was brand new on Amazon for extra for just 30 bucks difference, but then you have these issues with the, the mounting points where the table connects, and then you also have the scratches, and it didn't come well shipped. So things to consider. Is it worth the $30? So which one did I decide to go with? I decided to go with the Mountain Summit gear table, and the reason is because those holes and pegs line up just flush. They're perfect. The quality is just a lot better. Where in the Go Team table, you couldn't really get them in all the way. And as a result, you can't lift it all the way. You could kind of grind it down and maybe force it in there. But for me, $30 really wasn't worth that. Plus, I'm supporting an American company as opposed to a Chinese company. So I'd much rather our money stay here in our country. And so I'm happy about that. So which one would you go with? Is the $30 savings worth it for the GO team? Very similar quality, very similar build, except a few imperfections. The GO team for me, was a great one, American made, sturdy, ready, right out the box. Now maybe this was a, a flaw in the, the system and they're maybe, maybe not all like that, but for buying something new, I expect to get it right the first time. In return, I decide I'm gonna go with the Mountain Summit gear table and I'll be returning the GO team. I hope this helps in your decision. Which one would you go with? Is this one worth the $30 savings? Or would you go with the sturdy Mountain Summit gear? Let me know in the comments. If you like what you saw, want to see more gear reviews, subscribe to my channel. And as always, thanks for watching.